Five main focuses if you don't have a gallbladder or if you struggle with gallbladder issues or gallstones. What's up everybody, I'm Dr. Living Good, breaking down a topic that I get asked a lot. There are millions of Americans that have lost an organ, their gallbladder. We take it out very loosely, just thinking you don't need it, but God put it in there for a reason. Now, not to fret, if you don't have one, you went down that road, I'm not here to make you feel guilty and maybe you had a significant issue going on, but what can you do if you don't have a gallbladder anymore, five crucial steps I'm gonna break down for you. And if your gallbladder is sluggish or struggling or maybe not ejecting the bile the way we need it to, what can you do to optimize that, help it out, and what's gonna hurt it the most? Let's break these five things down. Number one, if you do not have a gallbladder, then you may consider an alternative for bile. This is called ox bile. It's in a supplement form. It's very easy to take. Uh, it's very uh, cooperative with the system. It's gonna help you break down those fats. So if you're not producing your own or very little of your own, and it causes you a lot of digestive stress, especially with a fat-filled meal, which we need healthy fats, so we can't just cut them all out of our life. We'll talk about that in a second. I would recommend putting ox bile in. It's very easy to acquire. It's found in the Living Good Daily GI support supplement, which makes it ideal for those without a gallbladder. I believe an absolute must. Those struggling with gallbladder health, it would be a good addition. Number two, digestive enzymes. You need help and the helpers to break the foods down, especially fats in this scenario. So digestive enzymes are a must if you care about gallbladder health or if you are without one. Help your body to break down the foods by replenishing the little helpers that break the food down that get destroyed over time with our diets, toxicity, chemicals, stress. So we beat those things up, we deplete them over time, replenish them. Those are also found in the GI support. Number three, probiotics. Your gut houses more bacteria than you have cells in your body. Kind of gross, but you need them. And we destroy them just the same medications, NSAIDs, especially aspirin, Tylenol, uh, excuse me, aspirin, Motrin, uh, Advil. Those are very hard on the system. Poor diets, lots of caffeine, lots of alcohol, uh, lots of, I mean, there's just many different things that destroy our gut and the environment of it. This gut lining is going to make it more friendly to break your foods down, lighten indigestion, and also has a huge impact on your immune system and the amount of inflammation in your body. You need a quality probiotic going in. Those are also in the GI support supplement. Number four, you can still have fat. Every cell in your body is made of a layer of fat around it. You need healthy fat to burn fat. You need healthy fat to make new cells. So we can't cut fat out altogether just because you removed your fat breaker down or organ in your gallbladder, we still need it. But not all fat is equal when it comes to digestive strain and stress. Peanut oil and vegetable oils, very hard on the system and breaking things down. So those greasy, fatty foods that probably cause you indigestion or pain after you eat them, it's because of the oil they're made in. It, the body is its so synthetic, it doesn't know what to do with those oils, especially when it's missing or lacking the full function of the gallbladder to do its job. Now, you can pick better choices for oil, such as coconut. Coconut has been proven to be very light on the digestive system because it is medium chain triglycerides, MCTs, those are not, they don't need a lot from the liver or the gallbladder and bile to be broken down and used and absorbed by the system. So you're not asking that gallbladder and that liver to strain to give the things needed to break it down. Focus more on good, healthy, real oils as opposed to man-made fake oils. We cover this in about every book and topic that I have because normal oils are probably the reason your gallbladder, abnormal oils are probably the reason your gallbladder got into a problem in the first place. Getting healthy oils in is extremely crucial and a big missing piece in today's healthcare approach. Finally, number five, you may consider overhauling the whole gut. Resetting your gut completely involves a six step process where you need to really clean it out, give it a break, heal it up, rebuild the enzymes and the probiotics. We call this a gut reset. As a Living Good Daily Lifestyle member, you have the, the basic and advanced versions of these to go through that 30 to 60 day process of resetting that digestive system. It's not gonna get you your gallbladder back, it might not fix all the problems or remove the stones or whatever, but it's definitely gonna take a lot of strain off your filters, your liver, 
your gallbladder, your kidneys, your digestive system. Reset it, reamp the environment and give you the best chance to experience real health long term. So get on the GI support supplement that has these gut friendly herbs, the ox bile, the enzymes, the probiotics, those gut helpers. That's a very simple thing we can do. We see a lot of people get a lot of benefit and able to eat foods that maybe they once were able to eat because now they've got those supplemented nutrients. Careful what oils go into your system, pick the right ones and consider doing a gut reset. There's a gall bladder health. Someone you know that maybe had that thing removed could really benefit from this. Hit the share button, pass it along, follow for more tips uh, on these types of subjects and uh, yeah, help someone else out. I'll be back with you soon.